All right, this is Stefan again from overunity.com. Welcome. I just wanted to show you an update about the African urine power generator. There came a video out recently um, which showed some new updates. I just want to play it for you here. A design. At this point, they were sure the gods, they could create the a system that uses urine to produce fuel, with her thus inventing a generator teacher. that runs on hydrogen gas. Uh, the gas is being produced through the electrolysis of urine from our I just translated a little bit to normal understanding English because you can hardly understand them. So they have some kind of uh, electrolysis cell where they just put urine in and uh, then have the electricity from the generator splitting uh, in this they have an old battery cell and they are splitting the urine into hydrogen and oxygen gas and um, yeah let's see what the girls here say electrolytic cell once the urine is given off it once uh, the Urine is, is given off uh, hydrogen and oxygen gas. Passes through a water bubbler. Then it passes through a water bubbler. Yeah, this is to, um, yeah, to clean the gas. The function of the water bubbler here is to purify the gas. Yeah, it's to purify the gas, she says. The, uh, the water bubbler, the function of the water bubbler. Any other gas or impurities that might have caused. Then the uh, gas is purified and it goes to another container, which is uh, just a storage container for the gas. I mean, the gas is purified by the water bubbler. Then it's stored in an empty gas storage tank. In an empty gas storage tank. I will show you later. That's just to store it temporarily. On t it's just stored temporarily on demand. You need it, so you might not even connect your electricity cell. So, um, yeah, it's also probably for start reasons. I used to be powering your generator. So to, to power it up, it's then easier. So after it's been stored, it goes in through the borax. After it's stored in this uh, storage tank, it goes into the borax uh, filter. It's also um, borax uh, soluted in water and it goes there and purifies also and get the moisture out of this oxyhydrogen gas. Borax here serves as a drying agent for the gas. So that we don't want it. Yeah, it's a drain agent. It's also a, a, a drier agent. It's a, a lot of moisture going into the end. The moisture is extracted then. Via generator, so it doesn't get this is the old design they have here, the generator. Here is the, the borax tank. And this is a storage tank for the oxyhydrogen gas. Pretty. <laughs> explosive probably not uh, the new design they have uh, also such an um such a storage tank with which also plastic not not anymore these these, these uh, metal bottle here so this was a water bubbler then the storage tank and this is a borax solution and they use an old car battery with stainless steel mesh metal inside there and from the generator output um they have probably um some kind of dc or maybe they use a 12 volt output over here and then they feed the yeah that this goes to the to the lamp this is probably only a switch on for the lamp and the power for the uh, battery electrolyzer cells come probably from here probably from the dc output of the generator Okay, let's let's go on with the video. It's hot. Then the gas goes into the generator. But now we're powering the generator using hydrogen gas. And hydrogen gas is now they are powering the generator with hydrogen gas. She means oxyhydrogen. It's more gas. it combusts faster than normal carbon. And as the oxyhydrogen gas combusts faster because it's so small, um they had to modify the ignition of the generator. One waste foils. That's our normal foil based generators. So we had to retard the top dead. So they had to retard the uh, top dead center uh, ignition 11. Ignition of the generator by 11 degrees. By 11 degrees uh, forward. So um, the um, uh, the ignition then ignites it later because so so you otherwise you would get uh, 
um, ringing in the cylinders. 20 bullets work on hydrogen gas. Each so of these whiskeys assign different roles to themselves in the process. I contributed in any other way, the construction of the nitratic cell, the components of generator, and the configuration of generator. Urine has to be electrolyzed, so we needed something to electrolyze the urine. So we just went to a refuse dump, and then we got the battery. Okay, here you see the, the battery cell, uh, which they, um, they use an old car battery to make the electrolyzer cell. Uh, they they pulled out all the lead plates and stuffed in there some stainless steel mesh metal and um, here those pr the black wires probably the cathode and the uh, red wire uh, acts like an anode um, so uh, oh, the plus pole and the minus pole and um, here is a gas outlet via this hose. And uh, out comes oxyhydrogen gas. It's just a normal car, car battery still. So we just remove the contents from the car battery and then we'll uh, put it out. She said they remove the contents of the car battery. I was the one that went to the market to get the materials there. in there for the project after we had researched. Yeah, this, this means water bubbler here. It's hard to read, but from the other side, you could see that there was printed bubbler. So this is a water bubbler. Um, this hose comes from the electrolyzer cells, goes into the water bubbler, bubbles here up, comes up, goes into this uh, here, this hose into this storage tank, which is just an empty uh, bottle here, and uh, then goes out over here. We have this hose into this borax uh, dryer solution where the moisture is extracted from the gas and then goes out here to the generator. Trying to guide them in their research, you know, there are always errors of errors in research. supervisor. So avoid them going to error or trying something that is dangerous to their health. So I just guide them in their work. Okay, here's again their idea system. have been designed and it's time to test their solution so earlier we saw that the, the green cylinder would be some kind of uh, pressurized gas so it was some people said it couldn't work their classmates but now they are new. showing they are really have results scaled that a little bit down so they only have these three plastic uh, containers here for now and, and the electrolyzer cell so there is no storage of no real storage of uh, pressurized gas somewhere so you see it couldn't be faked your challenge was making it work challenge was making it work oh, the first cell we did exploded so the first cell they made exploded because there was a backfiring as it was backfiring so <laughs> they exploded the electrolyzer cell because probably they had they didn't have an arrestor yet the team remained focused and we are convinced their solution will okay, work they stayed focused and wanted to get a working solution so like we're determined like focus that oh we have to do this thing we have to solve this problem we had to solve this problem we had to stay focused so this was the old storage tank and many people saw they had some pressurized hydrogen gas in there um so many people saw that would be a fake hydrogen is being produced but it's flowing back Hydrogen is being produced, but it's flowing back, he says. So what do we do that eventually... So what do we do? We uh, exploded our cell. We ex eventually exploded our cell, so they had to um, put in a rest stop, probably. Every member of the team went back to study. They so dug up old science articles and journals, learning how to solve their gravest challenge. I actually thought of the fact that if we insert one wave valves into the hoses, like they won't backfire. Like the 
So they installed a valve that don't backfire. This is not to backfire. At last. And at last, now they have achieved success. Here came a breakthrough. Now they have a breakthrough. Now they have a self-running system just on the ream. Isn't that great, guys? So, what? Four or five uh, Ni Nigerian schoolgirls could do as a teacher? Why can't we do that? Produces water vapor. It's, it's very environment friendly. It's very environmental friendly, yeah, and it was her dream to, because some relatives of her were gassed by carbon monoxide gas uh, to produce a clean fuel uh, which doesn't pollute and is not dangerous. The dream is being fulfilled. Nigeria is safe. Africa is safe as in, safe as in. Africa is safe now. This is clean new fuel. They invented a system that uses urine to produce fuel. This is just a normal car battery cell. So now it explains again, this is a normal car battery cell. We just removed the content. We just removed the content. And then inserted our electrodes. We just removed the contents and, and inserted our electrodes. Stainless steel mesh. This is stainless steel mesh. As our electrode both as our electrodes the cathode and the anode. Uh, as cathode and anode so that's just the electrodes instead of the battery so that's uh, electrodes yeah we gas. have water in it okay. the water serves as a filter the water uh, so in uh, acts as a fuel um, clean up yes, once the urine, um, urine is electrolyzed and hydrogen oxygen gas is diverted in case any hydrogen oxy gas ga gas um, goes through it impurity, like and purifies it. it the water helps to remove it the water removes uh, impurities then from there the purified from gas there uh, from there it goes to this storage tank which is just this empty bottle here goes into the storage container. it probably builds up some some kind of pressure together with a bubbler and then goes to the um, Borex solution. So once once we just we don't once the gas is stored here, we don't need the electric. Once the gas is stored, uh, we don't need electricity anymore here. She said. itself, because once you just start the generator, the gas from here will power it. Uh, that's not really understandable. The, the gas is stored here for an instant. Then the gas moves from here into the borax solution. Then the gas, as I said, moves into the borax solution. Sure. The borax solution helps to remove moistness from the, the borax solution removes the moistness, uh, moisture of, of the of the gas, so it comes out dried and then goes to the gas gen as I pass through water. Because um, if there's moistness, if moistness enters if there would be moistness still left, then it's not good for the genset because then it gets wet and the parts corrode. The generator, it can spoil the engine of the generator. Then from there, it moves inside to the carburetor and powers our generator. With a liter of urine, so, this generator can run for six hours. With a liter of urine, this generator can run for six hours. This was her mother, which smiled. Indeed. These kids have solved a problem. Yeah, these kids really have solved the problem. Initially, I was like, what, what are they bringing? Will this thing actually work? And to my surprise, Will this actually work? It's actually and to my worked. Surprise, it's I'm surprised to see a generator working. that is powered by urine. The output is just the same from the generator, so their output is not affected by the urine. The output of the generator, the, the lighting bulbs. So, here you have it, guys. This is a uh, proof that it's working without any hidden power source. So, they also won a prize uh, in a competition. Um, Their invention has attracted both foreign and local media. Um, 
um, ja, you can do the price where they want the price. So here you have it. You have some real uh, struggling kids which wanted to have solutions, and now they have uh, find a solution with uh, with the help of her, of their teacher. They have done it, and so um, it's a really great invention. So let's let's try it ourselves to rebuild this. It's probably not not too too complicated. So what these kids can do, we also can do. So try working on it. Um, as urea is about two percent in um, in urine. Um, breaks down already at 0.37 volts and you need 70% less power for breaking down uh, urea um, water solutions than, uh, water, uh, than KOH water solutions. Yeah, So that's probably one trick uh, or the right trick to get this system self running. 70% less energy required to break down urine into oxyhydrogen. All right, that's for it now. And um, yeah, please subscribe, give a thumbs up if you like that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to don't miss the next video. Okay, thanks a lot. Stefan signing out. Bye bye for now.